What's going on everybody, Ryan Nyquist here and today we are doing a reaction video and the video was one that was released on Scotty Kramer's channel not that many days ago and they basically dressed up Maddie Kramer to look like me, sound like me, they tried to make him act like me which I, I don't know, I've heard uh, mixed reviews on that. But we're going to check it out today and then you're going to get my full reaction. Um, and I'm not gonna go easy on them, you know? If you, if you plan on dressing up like me and trying to talk like me and trying to act like me, you're gonna get me reacting to you. It's not gonna be good. So, before we get started on that, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, smash that notification button because these videos are not gonna stop. We're gonna keep going. The banter back and forth between Maddie is just getting good. And we got the Game of Bike coming up on November 7th in Cary, North Carolina. So if you're in the neighborhood, please come by and watch it go down. Please come by and watch me win. I'm gonna win, I'm gonna destroy Maddie. It's not even gonna be a contest, but you know what though? It is gonna be a lot of fun, that's guaranteed. We're gonna have a game of bike. Well, if you wanna call it that, it's not gonna be much of a game to be honest when you're battling someone like Maddie. <laughs> But we're also going to have like a little jam and we're going to do just fun games. It's going to be totally interactive. You can come hang out with us, come say hi, autographs, whatever you want, whatever you need. We're going to be there for you guys. So if you are in the hood, come by Cary, North Carolina, November 7th. If you're not, tune into Scotty's channel. It's going to be amazing. But like I said, today we're doing the reaction video. We're going to get right into that and we're watching Scotty's video. So let's just go ahead and start the video. Why don't we? All right, guys, we're here in the back of the bike shop, and Maddie is still in New York because he's at his gravel race. Mm -hmm. well, me and BK have been hanging out here because we've got okay. nothing else better to do. And I just got a random text message from a very special guest saying that he had an emergency of getting his bike fixed. He just so happened to be in town. Okay, and it's I see none where this other is than going. Ryan Nyquist. So exactly. I'm go up front and go see what he needs. Exactly. Yeah, let's go check this out. <laughs> Run. What's up, Scotty? What are you doing here? Dude, I'm in town for an autograph signing down the street, but I'm having the biggest oh God, bike issues, on. dude. Oh I brought my, my spare gosh. bike. I haven't even got tested out yet. No, and didn't. this one's killing me because the seat they posts did. can't go they any really higher. Did. Um, Wow. Wow. Okay, so yeah. Homemade Haro shirt, uh, sunglasses, um, blue goatee, elbow pads, knee pads. I'm not, I'm not really sure about these high shorts, but... Uh, but wow, wow, okay, let's okay, let's keep going. This is like literally just beginning, let's keep going. You're telling me it can't go any higher than that? No, dude, it's maxed out. Is Brooklyn here? Do you think he can maybe help me out, maybe fix it? Because we need to go higher, dude. It's not yeah. working right. Yeah. Okay, they did their homework. I mean, obviously, for those of you that know me, I do have a high seat post. I run my seat really high. I always have. Um, I use it to pinch my knees for doing suicide no-handers, among many other tricks, Maddie. But uh, this is good. This is good. I like this. Let's keep going. Yeah, come on inside, man. Sweet, dude. Thanks. Let me get the door for you. Thanks, man. Hey, I'm Ryan Nyquist. Hey, you remember me? Kim Possible? A long time ago, the movie? Three, three video games? 38 time X Games? All right. Hey, it's me, Ryan Nyquist. What's up, Brooklyn? Yo. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> Dropping the stats on the way into the bike shop. And I just noticed the skull cap too, so they, they tried to make sure they got the hair right, which they, they were pretty close. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh, just dropping the stats on the way in. Okay. Good to see you. I'm from North Carolina. <laughs> um, dude, you wouldn't believe the issues. I'm like, what's up, guys? I'm Ryan Nyquist. How are you? Uh, you wouldn't believe I'm having the biggest... <laughs> <laughs> nice. oh, okay. <laughs> I'm having the biggest issue with my... They got the farts. Okay, so far, I mean... This is pretty good, not too bad. Definitely entertaining, definitely entertaining. Blake, the seat post won't go any higher. Is there anything you can do? X Games, let's get it. Wait, do you think we get seat post any higher? And they got that right, X Games medalist. I got a lot of those, Maddie. Well, I think that was your brother's. That must have been your brother's because I'm almost positive you were never invited to X Games, Maddie, so. Mm, dang, okay, let's go on. 
extender? Is that possible? Do you guys do an extender, an extension system, a pipe system? Can is there a Home Depot with, around? Can you come up with anything here? I mean, I have to go next door and get the welder real quick. I can just weld a piece together. Yeah, we need at least a lot. All right, well, let's get to work and see what you can come up with. All right, see, with, what you, see if you can take care of that. I'm going to go. If we can't uh, get Ryan doing his tricks, then I, I can't. The do. kids are waiting for me. Can we, talk, can we talk about this bike, though, Ryan? Yeah, for sure, man. So what is this thing? This oh, this is, a, this is a Harrow Nyquist. This is a Nyquist 1. Wow, yeah, um, this is my that. signature edition in uh, the burgundy color. Uh -huh. um, what do you think about the seat? It's a good looking bike. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's definitely outdated. You know, I don't know where they found this thing. Might have been brought into the shop. I mean, those bikes do last a long time. Horror bikes. So if you're in the market, go ahead and buy one because, as you can see, they hold up. That one was probably from like, gosh, I don't even know, 2005. Who knows? But yeah, they hold up. So uh, props for them for actually finding one. That's cool. Plus, man, is that working out? I'll find you something. I'll get right, you going. I we'll appreciate it. it out. Yeah, but this this one, uh, I just. So I have a question. I yeah. was always wondering. I you always see you use that symbol. Yeah, that's my tribal uh, tattoo. Uh, we're not going to talk about it. What do you mean? Where's the tattoo at? It's on my <laughs> back, but I'm not going to show you that. So right, that's, that's kind fine. of confidentiality well, strictly for my wife. Okay, fair enough. Uh, because see, it's all. Okay, so um, not on my back. It's on my arm. I got a tattoo right there. You can see. And that is a pendant that I use on a lot of my stuff. But definitely not on my back, so didn't get that one right, Maddie. I'm wondering though, maybe you have a, one on your back. Maybe? Maybe? All over the bike, man. It's definitely pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty All sick. Right. It's my ex my Instagram photo. A lot of people don't recogni cool. recognize me by my face, but they yeah. recognize me by my tattoo. Yeah, so um, let's just talk about why you're here. I know you're doing an autograph signing. Yeah, man. It sounds complicated with the whole yeah, it's a big thing. thing. It's Hold on, can we just talk about that blue goatee? Um, <laughs> Look at this thing, man. Like, okay, first of all, it's not a goatee. It's not a goatee whatsoever. Maddie obviously cannot grow facial hair. Obviously, he's he hasn't reached that point in his life. Uh, if you ever hear him talk, you can hear he's like you know sometimes the voice squeaks a little bit. So he's going through that period of life that's like awkward and difficult for young men and young women. You know, just your body starts changing, and and so that's what he's going through. He can't even grow a goatee. So as you can see, they had to like literally color his chin like they had to paint his skin to make it look like he had a goatee so i feel it for you man in a couple more years maybe you will be able to grow a goatee you know once you go through those life changes let's just call it life changes you're going to change and, and become a man so soon maybe you could have a blue goatee if you really wanted to from kim possible a couple years yeah, back that. whoa you almost got smashed what's up i'm ryan ryan nyquist oh thanks ryan kim possible are obstacles usually that um Extreme accidents happen. The game of bike is right around the corner. Yeah, I mean, yeah, weren't you quick, scared yeah. that Maddie was going to be in town right now? Wow. So, okay, that was cool. Um, that was Kim Possible, and that was an episode that I was in. Uh, they drew my character. I did a voiceover. I was living in Salt Lake City at the time, so I had to literally go into there and like do the voiceover. And really cool experience. It was seen like by a bunch of kids. Um, I don't know. It was cool to be a part of, but. Uh, they definitely dug deep for this one. They went deep into the archives to find some some good stuff to show that, you know, maybe they. It seems like more they admire me, and they're kind of going through my resume of things I've done through my career, and so I'm 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 kind of flattered actually. This is cool. Let's keep watching. No, uh, I'm not scared. I knew he was out of town, so I figured I'd come by. But even if he was here, it's really it's not even a big deal, dude. You know, um, being as well known as I am, and being as old as I am like real old, um, I have a lot of knowledge in these kind of situations. And, you know, I know when the competitor is out of town, you need okay. to head into his town to do things. Um, so I came by and um, I'm just I'm just here. No, I, we're, to, we're psyched that you're here. Everybody is just ready so to do my thing up. and show people that uh, these guys I can, can barely, state to state. These guys can barely even keep on working. Like, it's just. <laughs> hey, See what's that? your name, buddy? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sick. It's a good name. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. The <laughs> cool. This is this is uh this is entertaining. I'll give them that. They really put in the effort. <laughs> so Ryan, do you mind if I ask you? Yo, a hold on. Oh, oh, let me. <laughs> you blew very... your bike over, right? Once again, I mean that's accurate too. You know, definitely, 
Probably they were probably filming on Friday, Fart Friday. There, yeah. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the game bike coming up? Yeah. What's I mean, going I don't want to get too into it. I mean, I, I know you've been to some huge events. I see that. Uh, or, yeah, that's, that's a, an actual X Games gold medal. Yeah, I, I brought this one. I wear this around. Uh, I usually wear two or three of them, but I knew mm -hmm. I had to ride a lot today, so I only wore one. Okay, so Scotty's gold medal. Congratulations, Scotty. That was an awesome contest. I was actually there for it. But that wasn't. That's not Maddie's. You borrowed that. You definitely borrowed that from Scotty and. And maybe one day you'll have your own, but I highly doubt it. Going into another big event like this, yeah. like what's going to be your motivation going into it? Like, do you see Maddie as a threat? No, man, I don't. I don't see him as much of a threat. I know they got that right too. Not much of a threat at all. Oh, he's young. He's really, really good. Super handsome. Super fit. You know, just a well-rounded rider. But I. Don't wow, man, Maddie. Uh, you really think very highly of yourself. Handsome, good-looking, well-rounded rider. I mean, like, good job. I don't nice see him as, as a, a threat no. because I don't know if you know this, Scotty, but, um, you know, it's all fun and games at the end of the day. I'm okay with the second place, you know? I've been in plenty of X Games, and I, I've gotten second place plenty of times. So this is going to be no different than any other time. So <laughs> I'm, I'm completely happy being on the podium. <laughs> They really did their research. Like they had my medal count, they how many how many medals, which gold, silver, bronze. So yeah, that, I mean that's that's a lot of work. That's a lot of medals you got to go through there, man. You guys really worked hard on this. Wow. And once again, Maddie, if you had any medals, I'd be like, yeah, this is cool to talk about. But you got nothing, man. Nothing whatsoever. So keep trying. In second. But here we are in 2021. You know, you've been riding professionally since <laughs> I believe like 96 or 97. That Wrong, was... it was 96 or 97. Okay. <laughs> so, do you know Maddie was actually born in 1997? <laughs> Correct, he so was born in 97. Does that motivate you more? Because you're going against somebody who's, you know, so young and has so many, uh, you know, amazing suicide variation tricks? Yeah, I don't, I don't want to say it motivates me because I know that... I, I didn't know he was born in 97. So that's the year I graduated high school, which I was already going to contests, which I was already winning some of them. So literally... I was winning contests, and this is 100% accurate, confirmed by the Scotty Cramner channel, that I was winning contests when Matty Cramner was pooping in his pants. Literally pooping in his pants, in his little diaper. Little guy, still little guy, still probably pooping in his pants. Uh, I'm on my way out, you know? <laughs> so I know that the, we've, we've got these unbelievable riders coming in, and I'm gonna claim that I'm the best Suicide no hander guy until that time. Mm -hmm. Nobody claimed they were the best suicide no hander guy. Actually, the only person that claimed they were the best suicide no hander guy was you. So, maybe a little bit of your natural character slipping through into the Ryan Nyquist character here, but you were the only one that claimed you were the current suicide no hander guy. I believe that's what you said, the current suicide no hander guy. I'm Maddie Kramer, and I'm the current suicide no hander guy. Yeah. Um, but I'm just well aware that I'm nearly, you know, riding out and this could be my last event. But it's cool because I'm glad that I'm doing the, the YouTube thing that everyone's taking me in right now because it's like going out with a bang, you know. Mm. And uh, Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. He's probably going to whoop my old butt. But, uh, hey, regardless, <laughs> at the end of the day, I still got an X Games medal around my neck. Yeah, I mean, it's just an honor that you're here. Mm. It really is. It, 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 it is an honor for you guys that the I'm here. The question is, are you going to be here for only today? <laughs> It is an honor for you guys for me to be here. That was, that was good. I like that. Um, if I would have been there, maybe it would have been truly an honor, but you know, obviously I wasn't. I'm going to be here for a couple days because uh, Maddie's not going to be back in town for uh, another couple days either. Oh, he's going to be out of town for a couple days? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be here for a couple days. I got a couple autograph signs I got to hit around here. Yes. For, so um, would you be down to maybe ride with us? We can go to a couple skate parks together. Yeah, man. We I, film? I'd, I'd lo I would love to ride with you guys that would be such a treat for you guys to watch me ride okay all your local skate parks that would be a lot of fun man. honestly it would be an honor a big honor yeah it would be a serious honor for you guys to watch me ride all your local skate parks hey guys i'm gonna order pizza you guys want anything no um, um trust I, me man I, what, I am you know all good i've it's actually got my lunch prepared yeah oh, wow. oh, they stocked me up with a bunch gosh. of these back in 80 i ate <laughs> See, something i, I like think there's Okay, I used to ride for Butterfinger. They, they did a lot of the research, man. They really, really did. I had Butterfinger candy bars everywhere. I had Butterfinger gloves. They had Butterfinger on my gloves, so doing the research, man. They really must love me. 
Still good. You haven't ridden for them in a while. Yeah, these ones are past due, but they're still so delicious, man. Okay. Yeah, so right, well, Butterfinger. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate the, hey, I appreciate hey, the offer. Hey, camera over here real quick? <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, cool. Can you send that to Butterfinger? Uh, I'm trying to get back on the uh, If I can possibly get the address, maybe. I'll you do want my anything, best. Man? Uh, I'm good, man. All right, cool. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, good news. Funny story, actually, with the Butterfinger thing. I'll just take a quick break. I did ride for Butterfinger. I went out to their headquarters one time, and they were under the same company. I think it might have been Nestle as uh, Willy Wonka, and I loved Willy Wonka stuff. So I was like walking by the Willy Wonka office, and I like literally screeched to a halt, like Arr! I was like, "Do you guys do Willy Wonka?" And they were like, "Uh, yeah." I was like, "I love that stuff. Can we? Can you like put together a package for me?" And they were like, "Well, I mean," and literally, I didn't really get the clue. I'd already signed with Butterfinger, so it was like not really cool to be asking for other candy, but I just couldn't resist. It was like, I love the Willy Wonka stuff. I still do, it's really good. But back then I was just like crazy for it. So in the office, while taking the tour of Butterfinger, I was like, yo, could I get some of that Willy Wonka candy? Still kind of a funny story. So but let's get back to the video. It is, we got a uh, Dude, are you oh freaking kidding me? <laughs> yeah, that is perfect, man. Thank you so much. All right, let's go test it out and I see how it. it rides. This is not even that high. <laughs> This is just how is my that, life is that just I'm actually really impressed that they found a seat post that long. Obviously, that's, that is not what I ride. That's impressive. That is a huge seat post. Huge seat post. That's right. This feel, hold on, let me see if yeah, I can pinch. Yeah, see if you can pinch it. Eh, it's a little lower than I wanted, but it'll do. This, yeah. this will be just enough. Maybe that was Maddie's uh, character slipping through. He probably wanted it a bit higher, if you know what I mean. Maddie. <laughs> Enough. Okay. Cool. I think I could still pedal it. Let's go in the back and we'll see how you do with yeah, it. Yeah, you want to see some tricks? Come yeah, on, I, Scotty. I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Another probably character slip up is Maddie obviously doesn't really know how to ride a bike. You could see you couldn't even get out the garage on that thing. Another slip up. Uh, I definitely could have navigated that bike with a high seat post a lot better. <laughs> Yo, listen. <laughs> Oh man, I'm, da Friday. <laughs> I'm downwind, dude. Farts are so cool, aren't they? I'm gonna get pink eye. <laughs> All right. I got that right too. Farts are pretty funny. Ready? <laughs> Check this one out. Woo! <laughs> Still got it. Okay. <laughs> hey, I learned this one in 86. Ready? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! I love the music. Hey, you want to see the one I did in my first pro contest? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the same sound when I, uh, I'm gonna make when I win this game of bike, is woo! <laughs> and then I'll show you one. I did. This was the end of my X Games run. And then I go like this, because they gave me the gold medal. Oh, that's rock on. I just can't believe you're out here, man. I just wanna say thanks for coming out here and actually choosing our shop out of any other shop in New Jersey. Oh, of course, dude. Thanks for getting me on that video cam you got. Yeah. That thing is sweet, man. Oh. I should get into that stuff at some point. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You know what's awesome about this thing? It's it's digital, so it records So where do you to... put the tape? No, that's the th that's what I'm trying to say yeah. is, uh, yeah, it, it works differently than what you're used to be filming <laughs> with. So it's, uh, it's kind of complicated. It's just like a little disc that goes inside of it and it, it just films onto <laughs> that. You tell me there's no cassette? No cassette at all. <laughs> you don't have to use VHS. No. Well, listen, if you're going to be riding with us for the yeah. next couple of days, I'll, I'll explain everything. I'll that show would be you all awesome because I'd love to make some of them video tube videos. I hope Scotty actually explains what a VHS is to Maddie, so he can really go back and research the history of BMX so he can stop claiming all this stuff is his and new tricks and all that stuff. Like, please, Scotty, take the time because I know that you probably know a little bit better than what Maddie does about what VHS cassettes are. So please explain to him and maybe even show him. Show him what VHS is. Show him those old footage so that way he can stop saying, I was the first to do this. I was the first to do that. Yeah. That would be so cool, man. Thanks, Scotty. I really appreciate that, man. Yeah, uh, no problem at all. This so, is so much better than North Carolina. So tomorrow we can go maybe ride a different skate park or something? Yeah, that would be super sick, man. Awesome. Wherever you want to go, I'd love to. I love riding big ramps. Well, I'll look forward to it. So why don't you do, uh, let everybody... I do love riding big ramps. Um, and that's one thing that I think uh, Maddie has an issue with. He just doesn't ride big ramps. And I think he gets scared of them, to be totally honest. Um, I only ever see him doing smaller ramps, fly out stuff, like there'd be a box jump or like a full resi and he's just flying out out of it. I hardly ever see him doing like big, big stuff. He's definitely like more of like a, a technical rider, but like I wouldn't even say technical. He just seems like he's scared. Just like more of like a scared to go big rider. Hmm. So just what I see out there. 
What do you know, you know about the Game of Bike coming up? And, yeah, so uh, for anybody who's uh, wondering, there's a huge Game of Bike going on November 7th at uh, Skate Carry in uh, Cary, North Carolina. I'm going to be there. I'm from there. You mm -hmm. guys should come out November 7th. Come hang in the sands. Come watch the fence. Cheer me on because this is going to be the big going out surprise for me. This is probably going to be the end of it. Awesome. I, I'm from there. I'm not from Cary. Cary is like two hours from me, so I think they're insinuating that maybe I have like a little bit of home court advantage, but I don't ride there on the regular. Um, it's been a while since I've ridden there actually, so it'd be fun to go back there. I'm on purpose not going out there to practice because I want it to be as level playing field as possible. Um, but yeah, that's not my home park, man. Sorry. Well, I'm excited for the event, and I'm also excited to film with you for the next couple of days. So. The end All right, of it. Nyquist, well, good <laughs> like luck at the autograph ever. signing. I hope cool. everything goes good. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow, Scotty. Oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. Um, I'm flattered. To be totally honest, I'm more than flattered. I'm really curious, like, how did you ever come up with that idea, Maddie? That's right. Someone else did that before you. Who was it? Daniel Deers. Can we just roll a little bit? We'll roll a little clip here so you can see a little bit of what it was. All right, let's try again. It feels good to be Ryan Nyquist. So once again, Maddie took someone else's idea, made it his own, pretty much just copied it actually, and then posted it and claimed it was his. Sounds like a reoccurring pattern here with all these suicide tricks and stuff that you're saying you do first. You literally copied Daniel Dare's idea of this video, did it yourself, same stuff, blue goatee, butter fingers, all that stuff, full pads, and you called it your own. So, sounds just like all those suicide tricks. You're like, oh, this is my idea. I just came up with this one on the spot. Blah, 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 blah. Dude, you just, you need to know your roots. You need to know your history. And you need to know that you haven't done anything first. Nothing in the suicide realm has been done by you first. So, I'm sorry to break the news. Take some time. Cry in a corner. Do whatever you got to do. But you were not the first one to do it ever, ever. Anyways, that's the reaction video. I hope you enjoyed it. November 7th, Cary, North Carolina, that the game of bike between Maddie Kramer and myself is going down. So come on out and support or tune into Scotty's channel to watch it. It's going to be a good time. Till next video, see ya.